So in this video we're going to talk about radiation patterns and you know why are radiation patterns important in UHFCB. Because we're talking about installing antennas on vehicles and the vehicles are driving around, we want to make sure we're getting a good omnidirectional pattern coming from your antenna. So in previous, you know, in the olden days, you know, most antennas were installed in the middle of the roof, drill a hole in the middle of the roof and put a quarter wave antenna there and you've got a real good radiation pattern because the antenna was relying on the roof as its ground plane. The problem is with $100,000 four wheel drives, no one's really clean to climb up on the roof and put a nail punch and bang a hole and drill a, drill an, drill a hole for an antenna. So we look at different solutions and what we try and do is we look at antenna placement and we talk about the importance of using a ground independent antenna. A ground independent antenna removes that need to have the antenna grounded onto the vehicle and that allows us then to place the antenna in different locations, i.e. the most common place that we, we're installing it is on bull bars, maybe on a guard or in some cases with a shorter antenna we can install it up on the roof bar. The key is to look for a ground independent antenna. While that doesn't totally remove the effect of the vehicle on the, on the antenna's performance, it certainly gives you a better chance of having a good omnidirectional or around signal from your antenna. 